In today's lecture, we will go ahead and we will talk about absolute value beta. We have already studied all kind of inequalities, right? Now, today I want to start our focus on what is absolute value. So, maybe all of you have already heard about absolute value. You have heard that, you know, whenever I have anything in mod, you will always get a positive answer, right? If I find minus 1 ka mod, I will get 1. And I find 1 ka mod, I will also get 1. But today I want to go ahead and I want to define absolute value for you in absolutely new way. absolute value So absolute value is basically the distance between two numbers. What is absolute value? Absolute value is basically the distance covered. It is basically the distance covered. But to understand the distance covered, we need to we need to first go ahead and we need to understand what is an interval. Interval hota kya hai? Pehle wo samajhte hain, fir hum distance covered ki baat karenge. So suppose I go ahead and I tell you A and B are two numbers on the number line. We call set of all numbers that lie between A and B as an interval. Suppose beta, take an example. Suppose I tell you that A is 5. B is 20. So this number that lie between 5 and 20, that is my interval. That becomes my interval. Okay. Now, if I tell you, suppose I tell you that X belongs to 5 comma 20, it means X will be any number between 5 and 20. But here there is a very important role of brackets. So if I use closed brackets, it means I am including 5 and 20 also. So this means that x can be 5 also, it can be 6, 7, till 20 it can be any number. But 5 and 20 will be included. If I say x belongs to 5 comma 20 but I use these brackets it means that 5 and 20 are not included so x will be 6 7 8 and so on till 19. I am talking about natural numbers for now. If it is integer to it can be 6.1 6.2 etc also but 5 and 20 will not be included. Right. So try to understand we can define different kind of intervals. When we define the interval with these brackets, then that is called as an open interval. Open interval means you don't include these extreme values. The extreme values are not included. So when I say that x is between minus 4 to 20, then I am not including minus 4 and 20. So I can represent this on the number line minus 4, 20, but I will keep my circles open. This is not included and anything in between them is included. When I talk about closed interval, it means that the values at the ends are also included. Right. So when I go ahead and I say that, you know, X is between minus 4 to minus 20, it means X can be minus 4 also. It can be minus 20 also or anything in between. So money, I can go ahead and I can just write it like this, minus 4, minus 20 and minus 4 is also included. Minus, tw uh, sorry, plus 20. So minus 4 is also included and 20 is also included. Try to understand beta. This is called as an open interval because I am not including the extreme points. This is called as a closed interval. I am closing it. I am including the end points also. Check it. Now the next thing that we have that is called as half open because it is opened from the first half. For example, if I say x is between... 15 to 35, 35 is included, but 15 is not included. Then I can go ahead and draw 15 here, 35 here, 15 is not included and 35 is included. Beta, this is half opened interval. This is half opened. 
reverse is also true so the initial part is closed so this is called as half closed interval so for example if i tell you x is between minus 10 to 100 and 100 is not included 99.9999999 is included 100 is not included and minus 10 is included right excuse me beta then we will call this as half closed Manek, clear okay now there is something which is called as bounded and unbounded set so when i say bounded that means it has some boundary that means that it is closed so when i say it is bounded by bounded i mean that it is a closed set so for example when i tell you that x belongs to minus 5 to 10 and both included it means it is both upper and lower bounded the lower value the lower bound is known to me that it cannot go below minus 5 and upper bound is also known to me but unbounded means when you don't know one of the bounds. Just for example, when I go ahead and say that x is greater than or equal to 4. So I know it is greater than 4. But I don't know its upper bound. What is the last number which will cater? Kahan tak khatam hoga? Sabse highest kya value hogi? I don't know that. I don't know the highest value it will take. So yes, it starts from 4 but the highest value is not known to me. Right, the upper bound is not known to me, so then this becomes an unbounded set. Right, so here I know that the highest number is minus 10, but I don't know what the lowest number is. Minus 10, suppose I just draw here minus 10. I know this is the highest number possible, but minus 11, minus 12, minus 13. What is the lowest number? I know I have to go till minus 10. That is my highest upper bound. But what is my lower bound? That is not known to me. So the lower bound is not known to me. But I know that my highest bound is here. It is 10. Minus 10. Right. So this is bounded above. Bounded from above. But no lower bound known. This is bounded from below. But no upper bound known. And this is when I don't know any bound. I don't know. It can be anything between minus infinity to infinity. Any number it can be there, right? So any number between minus infinity to infinity. Is this making sense? Okay. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can talk about absolute value. So I told you absolute value is the distance, right? So let A be real number and its image position on the number line. The distance between A and 0 is called the absolute value of A. So, for example, if I need to find absolute value of minus 2, what is the distance between minus 2 and 0? Distance of two units. You know, 1 and 2. So, distance is 2. So, its absolute value becomes 2. If I have to go from 0 to 2, what is the distance? 2 units. So, distance is 2. So, when we find out the distance between the number, distance, distance can only be positive. It's a distance, right? So when we find the distance between a number and zero, that is its absolute value. And therefore, because it is distance, it is always positive. So absolute value of a number is A when A is greater than zero and minus A when A is less than zero. Let me help you understand this better. Suppose I want you to find out absolute value of minus two. So, A is here minus 2. Minus 2 is negative. You will put it in this formula. So, you will get the absolute value of A as minus A. Minus 2 is your A. Uh, A is minus 2, 2. Clear? Suppose I need to find out absolute value of 5. 5 is positive. So, when A is greater than 0, you will write the number as it is. So, absolute value of 5 will be 5. Suppose I need to find the absolute value of minus 4, right? So minus 4 is negative. So when you find the absolute value, you will multiply number with minus 1. So you will multiply minus 4 with minus 1 and you will get the answer as 4. 
So try to understand that the absolute value of positive number is also positive and negative number is also positive. On that basis, if I ask you to open this up, mod of, it's also called mod. So mod of x minus 2. Kaise open karenge beta? It will be x minus 2 if x minus 2 is greater than equal to 0 minus x minus 2 if x minus 2 is less than 0. Right? So, it will be x minus 2 if x is greater than equal to 2. Just try to see this. x minus 2 greater than equal to 0 means x greater than equal to 2. Right? And it will be, so if I just open this up, minus x minus 2, minus x plus 2, 2 minus x. So it will be 2 minus x if x minus 2 is less than 0, x is less than 2. Right? So we have opened this up. It will be x minus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 2. It will be 2 minus x when x will be less than 2. Samjhe baat ko. Let's take one more example beta. Take it. So, for example, open up x minus 5 mod. Shuru kare. So, it will be x minus 5 if x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x minus 5 if x minus 5 is less than 0. Right? So, this will become beta x minus 5 if, if I just rewrite this thing, x minus 5 greater than or equal to 0 will give me x greater than or equal to 5. And if I just open this up, what will I get beta? Minus x plus 5. So, mane 5 minus x if x is, is open karo. x minus 5 less than 0 means x less than 5. So, this can be written like this. Okay. Achha, take an example. Suppose if I tell you x is 7. So, in dono mein se kis mein dalo You will put it here. So, 7 minus 5, that means 2. Okay. Suppose if I tell you x is minus 5. So, kis mein dalo in dono formulas mein se? You will plug here. So, 5 minus minus 5, that means 10. You will always get the answer as positive. You can try it here itself. Suppose I tell you x is 7. So, 7 minus 5 mod, 2 mod, that means 2. Suppose I tell you x is minus 5. So, minus 5 minus 5, minus 10 mod, that means plus 10. Right? So, when x is positive, you are getting the answer positive. When x is negative, we are getting the answer positive. Clear? Okay. Now, suppose I want to find the distance between two numbers, x1 and x2. Since distance is always positive, the distance is x1 minus x2 mod. This is how you can write the formula of distance between two numbers. So, if I need to find the distance between minus 2 and 4 beta, so 4 ko hum maan lete hain x1 or minus 2 ko x2. So, 4 minus minus 2 mod 6 mod that means 6. Reverse is also true. Achha, agar hum 4 ko x2 maan te, we would have considered 4 as x2 and Minus 2 is x1. So, minus 2 minus 4 mod minus 6 mod 6. So, the distance between two numbers can be written as absolute value between those two numbers. Right? This is what we have written here. Okay? So, this is how you can go ahead and solve for intervals using absolute value concept. Okay, beta. Thank you.